Hey Poosh, do you guys feel like your hair sometimes isn't as shiny and healthy as you want it to be? Maybe it's thinning a little bit, and no matter what products you use, it's still the same? Well, today I wanna show you some Chinese medicine scalp stimulating techniques that will help your scalp be healthier and therefore your hair be healthier, which will make it be more beautiful. I'm Sandra, I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner of almost 20 years, and I use Chinese medicine to treat skin conditions and also cosmetic concerns like anti-aging. And I work with the scalp a lot in treatment, not only to treat the face, but also problems affecting the body. So what is scalp stimulation and why should you do it? Scalp stimulation is basically things like scalp massage and other techniques that you do on your scalp to really help invigorate the movement, help your scalp be healthier. There's three main reasons why you should do it. The first is blood flow. Scalp stimulation really increases the blood flow to your scalp, which is important in helping it be healthier. And when your scalp is healthier, your hair looks better. Two, scalp stimulation is deeply relaxing to your nervous system. And a lot of thinning hair and hair loss conditions have to do with being too stressed out. Finally, working with the scalp really helps the face. So relaxing all those scalp muscles in your scalp, which you do have there, helps to increase circulation to your face and even helps give it a lifted appearance. Isn't that cool? I see this all the time in my practice. You'll need a scalp stimulating tool like this, but if you don't have one, you can also just use your fingers. But I prefer using tools because they give a stronger stimulation and your fingers get tired. You can do scalp stimulation on a dry scalp, or you can use your favorite scalp serums, treatments, or oils and scalp stimulate on top of that for a relaxing and effective home head spa experience. Let's start on the top of the head. Take your tool like this and bring it to your hairline. Now begin to circle one way and then the other way. So we're basically doing acupressure on the top of the head. We keep moving back another inch and again circle one way and then the other way. And we're gonna keep moving back on the top of the head, inch by inch, until we reach the back corner of the head. Now we're gonna do some gua sha stroking, smooth strokes to the scalp, all the way to the back of the head. And remember, we're contacting the scalp here, not the hair. Now if you have textured hair, or really tight curly hair, use these micro stroking movements where you can access your scalp instead. Finally, let's end with some tapping to really stimulate the energy of our scalp and wake up our energy as well. Now let's move to the side of the head. So take your tool like this and come to the hairline right in front of your ear. Start making acupressure circles going one direction and then reverse and go the other direction. Move another inch back and repeat. We're gonna keep doing this inch by inch. We'll move back, forming a circle around your ear and you're going to reach the back of your head. And you're even gonna come on to your neck. Next, we're gonna do some smooth gua sha strokes around the side of your head like this. And this feels really nice. If you have thick curly hair or textured hair, try doing these little micro strokes instead where you can access your scalp. Now finish with tapping all along the same area on the side of your head onto your neck. Now move to the other side and repeat all those steps again. Acupressure circling. Gua sha stroking, and finally tapping. Now we'll move to the back of the head. Start with acupressure circles, going one direction, reverse and go the other direction. Move down another inch and repeat, and keep doing this inch by inch down the back of your head until you reach the bottom of your skull. 
And from there, you're gonna continue down your neck because your neck is a really important area to open to bring blood flow into your scalp. Now let's do some gua sha stroking on the scalp here. Just make long, smooth glides down the back of your head and let's finish with tapping. Just move along the back of your head, covering any area that feels good. Oh, how good does that feel? Right now, my scalp is tingly and warm. I feel relaxed, but also energized at the same time. And my neck is so much less tense. So you can do this two to three times a week. And when you do it regularly with sleeping well, eating well, and also making sure you're as stress-free as possible, then you should really notice an improvement in your hair health because you are stimulating your scalp health. You guys, this was so much fun. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that I see you again soon.